the word grow means to get bigger. Everyone said bigger. bigger. It means to expand. It means to stretch. It means to spread. It means to multiply. It means to increase. The word grow. Now we just read a couple of scriptures that talks about growing. Is that true? So the word grow is really a word that is challenging all men to expand themselves. You must expand yourself. You must stretch yourself. You must increase yourself. You must multiply yourself. You got to learn to duplicate yourself. Now, my brothers and my sisters, one of the main reasons why we study the word of God is not to preach. Please look at me. It's not to prepare for a sermon. One of the main reasons why we study the word is not to impress people. It is not to make people like us. But according to the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2, the Bible said, As newborn babes, we desire the sincere milk of the word that we may grow. The word is a, the Bible is a compilation of scriptures, compilation of letters. And it is designed to provoke growth. If we do not grow, it is an indication that we are not assimilating the word of God. Please hear me. Because the Bible said, as newborn babes, we desire the sincere milk of the word that we may grow. So ignoring the word is literally causing you to not grow. But we study the word of God so that we can expand ourselves. It's not so that we can come and give you Bible stories. No. No. It is not so that we can come and make you feel good and impress you. No, even though all of that may be relevant in some part in time as we minister. But the main idea of studying the word of God is transformation. It is to make us into a different being. It is to uh, catapult us into a higher life, a higher way of living. Now, it is so important that we grow. Brothers and sisters, if we do not grow in this life, we will always be vulnerable. If you plant a seed in the earth, right, and the seed is, um, pops through the ground, but it is very young, it's highly likely for anyone and anything to trample on that thing. Is that true? Now, th because the reason why it is easy to be trampled on, it's not because it's not a good thing. It's because it is young. If that thing remains small, inevitably one day, somebody is going to crush it and destroys its destiny. Are we together here? So that tree, ha that, that little plant has to make up in its mind to grow. The day will come when that tree grows to such a level that you can't just step on it and crush it. Is that true? That tree becomes so strong and so powerful that you're going to have to use some bulldozer. You're going to have to use something uh, very strong in order to remove or to pull down that tree. Now, please hear me carefully. If you're in the house of God, if you're serving Jesus and you do not grow, you are left vulnerable to be destroyed by the devil. Growth is inevitable. You must see to it that you grow. I'm going to speak to you today that you never become comfortable not growing. I tell you, in this church, if you don't like the, the, the challenge, I'm going to tell you, you're going to really be uncomfortable because we are not going to allow none of you here to remain stagnant, to remain small. Whether you like it or not, we're going to trouble you to love progress. The word of God, you cannot read the word of God and not want it to be like God. The Bible said we serve a great, big, wonderful God. That's not just a church slogan or a church statement. It is a reality. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. There is absolutely nothing that is small about your God. So you're going to have to challenge yourself now to grow. Now we must be addicted to growth and allergic to stagnation addicted to growth which means nothing stop me from growing and you must be so allergic to stagnation when you look at just being stagnated you get edgy 